Hey, YouTube internet people, welcome back to another video. My name is Jeremiah. If you're new here, I make lifestyle and tech videos. I've only been a developer for about a year now, but people still ask me questions like in my comments and in my Instagram DMs and sometimes COVID permitting in person. And they ask those questions frequently. So this is frequently asked questions, questions and answers, answered questions. Without any further ado, let's get into it. First up is an easy one from my friend from Portugal. She asked, how old am I? And I am 23 and three quarters. Next question. Next up is a question from my friend Print, and he asked if I was ready to be a software developer after I completed that first course that I talked about in my first video. And I think the answer is straight up no. I don't think you'll ever be ready. I've had the blessing of starting two positions in my short time being a software developer, one with the Air Force where I was just doing front end things and I wasn't ready for that, but I learned a lot on the job and became comfortable. And then my second position, which I just left was with the Space Force. And there they had me doing full stock development, which I've never done before, but they didn't really care if I had the technical skills at that point. They were looking for more if I had the aptitude to quickly pick up new concepts. Um, so short answer, no, I was not ready for my first job after that course, but I had the baseline understanding of how software development works. The next question I get a ton, and it's how do I like this video and subscribe to your channel? I get it. It's, uh, it's difficult to find these buttons sometimes. Right underneath the video, there's going to be a little thumbs up, and you're going to hear the sound, and then that's how you really know that you've, you've done that properly. Another frequently asked question I actually get a lot is what is the space for us? Why do we need it? Is it actually real? And I shouldn't be telling you this, but yeah, it is real. We're working on warp speed. So our biggest priority in the space force right now is how to get from here to Mars in like 15 minutes. Obviously I'm joking, but in reality, um, space force has existed and it's like a subdivision of air force. And just like the air force separated from the army in 1947, the space division of the air force is now going to separate and be its own branch the more you know. Another person asked me, do I think software development is becoming a saturated field? Absolutely not. Like it's definitely one of the most in-demand jobs in 2020 and probably in the next couple of years. And don't take my word for it, like Google most in-demand jobs 2020 and software engineers will definitely be on that list hands down. Just recently in an Instagram DM, a guy from Africa, which is actually pretty cool that I have reached to Africa. Um, he asked me, what's the difference between front end and back end? So let me put it like this. So if you're watching this video on youtube.com, so everything that you're seeing on screen right now, the buttons, the video, how everything is laid out, animations, all of that is taken taken care of by a front end engineer. And on the back end, like a back end engineer would handle the data of how many subscribers I have, who I'm subscribed to, and the videos that I have, that would all be stored in a database on the back end. So that's the difference front end, back end. This next one really isn't a software related question. It's more of a personal question. Um, and it's, am I still in the military? Are you still in, are you still active duty? One Marine actually had the same question and he left a very tasteful comment under my first video. And I quote, shut the front door. You're not even in the military. Stolen valor, piece of poop. Now I had to water it down to keep this channel family friendly, but you get the idea. But gosh. He got me. If only there was some way I could reclaim my valor and prove that I'm in the military. In all seriousness, for those who did ask politely, yes, I still am in the military active duty in the Air Force, um, and I have about a couple years left before I start applying to civilian jobs. So stay tuned for that. So someone asked me who's my mentor, and that's the response to my first video again. And I've had two mentors, one at Air Force, one at Space Force. The one at Space Force was actually a civilian guy, but they both had the same characteristics about them. They were very friendly and they both were open to me asking dumb questions and never looked down on me for asking those dumb questions. And I think that's a very important characteristic to find in a mentor. Um, so yeah, my mentors are very open people. And that is the end of my frequently asked questions, questions and answered, answered questions. But if you like these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe to follow me on my software development journey. And like all Always, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Off you, Zane. Man, I had to shoot this video in like four different takes because look, look, look how hot the sun is. Like my phone kept overheating and I had to just put it in the fridge every single time between takes. But whatever. I hope you like the video. I'll see you on the next one.